Hello guys, what's the person is my name? I'm so excited to come your way. So, Luke's chapter number 19 from verse number 41 to 44. In 41, the scripture says that Jesus was coming close to a city. And when he came close to the city, the Bible says he wept. He wept. The scripture says, and he said, He if they had known the things that pertain to peace. It says, but they had been hidden from their eyes. That's amazing. Now, there might be several times Jesus wept, but the scripture recorded like maybe two. Okay, one when he wept for his friend, and then we see another one where he weeps for their lack of understanding or knowledge. Right? That's very pathetic. Hosea 4 says, My people perish for lack of knowledge. Right? Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 7 says, Wisdom is the principal thing. Get wisdom in order I get in, get understanding. Listen, if Jesus can weep, right? If Jesus can weep because the whole city lacks knowledge, that tells you, right, the importance of right knowledge, okay? Having the proper understanding. Listen and listen very well. You must prioritize the right knowledge above other things in your life, okay? That's what will truly set you free. That's what will help you. That's what will bring you joy, okay? How much you are deprived or how much you are happy, it's a function of your knowledge or understanding. I've seen people weeping, right? Thinking that they have been oppressed or because they lack correct understanding of how life works, okay? You know, like some people think their understanding of love might be wrong, something that will lead them to destruction, because the lack of understanding is it's just like when you correct a child for doing something wrong and is angry, not knowing that correction is going to bring in blessings in the future. Then he grows up and realizes that he was being stupid for being angry that you correct them. That's how we have people today, okay, suffer for lack of knowledge, for lack of proper understanding. Okay, how wise you are or how much you know will determine your freedom level. Or, right, how much you don't know will determine your bondage level. So you must seek to learn. You must seek to learn. Don't continue to do things how you understand. Learn the right way things are done. Understand the right way of life. Okay? So the, it got Jesus to weep. That's something to think about, right? That tells you that tells you the importance of the right knowledge. That tells you the importance. There was something Jesus understood that they did not understand. And you know the painful thing about it? They were excited living their life and thinking all is well. You know, have you seen some people excited in their stupidity? Right? When they just think all is well, they're just smiling. They're smiling in their mediocrity. They're smiling in their foolishness. Right? They think you're oppressing them because you're bringing them what is best. Right? They're angry with you for saying the truth to them. Or they are, they're angry, you know, with anyone who does not want to comply with how they want things to go because... They think that's the right thing that should happen at the moment. And they don't understand that they're just living their life in, in stupidity, right? There's nothing as painful as getting older in life, realizing that you would have known some things better and done some things better. There's nothing as painful as that, right? Realizing late in life, okay? So that's why sometimes you have to trust people who know better than you and allow them, you know, to guide you early, right? So you can spend your life more productively, more happy as against trying to go the way you understand, the way you like, the way you feel, the way you've been raised and then you get to your future and then you come to a place of regret. You see that? Okay, so um, understanding will determine how much you will maximize life. It will also determine how well you will understand right things to do them right. It will also determine your joy and your sadness. If you understand better, if you grow to know more and understand better you most likely will maximize your life you will enjoy life better you will not have that false um, excitement that leads to regret or frustration much later right right but when you lack proper understanding proper knowledge of how things are done proper knowledge of how life should go what god expects from you right then you most likely will be in regret there's something that i do in my life anything that I find something in the word of God contrary to what I believe or what I, what I have practiced. I give what I have done up because I know 
that where I learned it from can never know more than the creator. Yes, I know that. So I give up what I've learned as against make excuse for it. A lot of people like to make excuse for their foolishness, for their failure, from the, for their uh, mediocrity, right? Or maybe they just want to be uh, tolerated that way. Now, not knowing the danger that they are doing to their life. Listen, it's not how long you live. It is how where you live. Okay, it's not having life. It's about having a great life. Okay, it's not making money necessarily. It's about living a great life. So prioritize the right knowledge. Seek to know how things are done and make the adjustment in your life. You know, you can see life properly. You can perceive things properly. You know, there are some people because of how wrongly fashioned their mind is, when you even do the right things around them, they interpret it wrongly, right? That's a bondage in themselves. That's slavery, okay? So until you learn correctly and make those adjustments, right, you may not live a great life, no matter how much you have or no matter how much opportunities are valuable to you. This is very important. I hope it blesses you. Thank you for listening and God bless you. <music>